I have an HP Chromebook that has a badly damaged screen. So I'm going to replace that today. The first thing I'm going to do is hold down the power button until it fully shuts down. To order the replacement screen you'll need the model number and this can be found on the bottom and you can see right here it says model 14-Q and that number is what you'll need to order the new screen. On either side of the screen at the bottom there are these covers that you'll have to remove and you'll find a small screw underneath each one. To remove the cover I'm just going to use this small knife and just work it under here and pry it off. And then do the same for the other side. And next I will remove the two screws. And now starting on one side, using your fingers, carefully pry up on the border around the screen. And then it should come right off. Next there are four screws you have to remove. There's two on the top, one on each corner, and two on the bottom. Next I'm going to just carefully pull the screen forward and lay it down. On the back of the screen at the bottom is this connector and there is some tape that will have to be pried up before we disconnect it. So I'm going to pry this tape off the back of the screen. And then the connector just gets pulled straight back out of the socket. Here's the new screen that I'm going to be putting in. I'm going to put a piece of foam on the keyboard so I don't scratch the new screen and place it face down. Next I'm going to plug the connector into the new screen. You want to make sure that it's properly lined up and then press it into place. And make sure you have a solid connection. Once you have it fully connected, then you can press the tape back down to the back of the screen. And now I'll put the screen back into place. On each corner where you took the screw out, there will be a little peg that needs to go through the hole in the tab to line up the screen. 
make sure that those are lined up. And then you can replace the screws. And the same on the bottom. Make sure these little pins are through the holes before you put the screws in. The new screen has a protective cover over it and you want to be sure and remove that before you put the border back on. And then position the border back around the screen and snap it into place. And then replace the two screws on the bottom corners. And then replace the adhesive covers over the screws in the lower corners. And then just power it back on. 